Hello everybody, this is Gunshot, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a couple astronomy tips. So right here, as you can see, we got our nice telescope. It's a refractor, which means it's better for looking at planets, uh, more than deep sky objects like stars. For that, you would probably want to use a reflector telescope. I have a pretty good lighting system. I'm so sorry I haven't been making that many videos. My iPad's been broken and I finally got it back. But, as you can see right here, we got our telescope. Now, one of the first tips is you're going to want to dark adapt. And if you don't know what that means, it means go out in the dark. And I'm using lights right now, so I can't really do that. That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses. But... You're going to want to let your eyes dark adapt to the sky because you'll be able to be able to see a lot more and a lot clearer. Now, if you're if you drop an eyepiece or something, you're still going to want to be able to see. The best thing to use is a red light like I have here. These will not mess with your dark adapted vision um, and they're good cuz you're going to drop your eyepiece quite a bit when you're at the stars. There's quite a bit of other tips, too. Like, you're going to want a pretty good sky map. Now, there is a Celestron sky map that you can use. And also, if you have, like, a smaller device, like a phone. I, of course, have an iPad. But there's these things, you get, uh, sky maps you can get, where you just point your device at the sky. And you can pretty much, like, wherever your iPad points, it's our phone. You will be able to see the sky for that area. Like if you're pointing it over there, you can see on the screen Uranus. And those are very helpful, but they're not the best thing to do when you're out. Because they will mess up your dark adapted vision. And it sometimes can take you 45 minutes, at least 5 or 10 minutes to dark adapt. But and try to avoid trips inside because they will definitely mess up your dark adapted vision. And dark adaptive vision is incredibly, incredibly important. Because without dark adaptive vision, I can't really see much in the sky. Now, as you can see, a good thing to begin astronomy with, to get a taste for it, to see if you like it, is a nice, good pair of binoculars. Now, you're going to want a wide-angle lens, and these are not that wide angle of a lens. But that's optically... Yeah, that's what you're gonna want because they will gather a lot more light than a smaller end like this. But yeah, and you're probably not gonna want that high of a magnification because you know viewing the sky, you're gonna think, oh, lots of magnification. Well, not really, unless you're trying to look at just one specific object. But if you're just looking at star clusters, like with these. Yeah, you're not going to want to have a lot of things. And here's another pretty important tip. When you're looking through the eyepiece, you know how everybody closes one eye when they look through the eyepiece? Well, you're not going to want to do that because when you close one eye like this, it's actually moving your eyeball. So it's going to disrupt your image. It's going to be shaky. So you might want to use a eye patch or just something you could tie around or you or you could just keep both eyes open but I prefer an eye patch or something yeah that is a pretty good tip there's various other tips but I don't have time to get to it in this video and once again I'm so sorry for not uh, having my iPad this uh, week I it's, it's been two weeks since I've uploaded a video I'm so sorry about that guys but I'm here with my new hobby, astronomy. You can be looking for tour. You can be looking forward to some new videos by me very, very soon. This is Gunshot signing off. See you guys soon.